Hey guys, welcome back to your uh, Python tutorial series. In this video, I wanted to talk a little bit more about strings, and specifically some problems we're going to come across when using them. So if we have a string, that's pretty much what a string is. We can have it like that, or we could have it in single quotes. Either way. Although what if we need to store quotes within our string, such as, uh, let's think, she's pretty. Well, if we put this within single quotes, here, let's just let's just do it right now. Here's what what happens. So Python's looking through this, and it sees okay opening quote, and then it goes on. Oh, and then it sees another single quote closing quote. So it sees it as she, and then we have all this extra crap that shouldn't be there. Stuff, whatever you want to call it. Well, one solution for this is to use double quotes on the outside. She's pretty. Now it sees the opening and the closing, and it can pretty much ignore any single quotes within it. Although, what if we have double quotes within it? He said, Wow. Well, now it sees this is the opening quote, and then it goes on until it sees another double quote. Boom. Now, this, this is what Python sees as the entire string and then we have all this extra stuff that shouldn't be there. So the solution for this one is to use single quotes on the outside. And boom, it works. So now let's try the ultimate um, example where we have both. He said, wow, she's pretty. Okay, oops, I guess that, yeah, that should be on the inside. All right, so now we have double quote, and then it goes until the double quote error. So the only solution we might try is to put single quotes. But now the same problem happens because within our string we have a single quote, and Python sees this as the closing quote. So we're going to go over some solutions to fix this. The first one is what's called, I don't really know, I think it's called uh, like a multiple line uh, quote. So we can put three single quotes as an opening. Hello! And we can go over multiple lines there. And then we can close it and press enter. And it returns back some weird results, but these are new line characters, which we talked about in a previous video. So this works pretty well. We could try it. We can put it within a print. Hey. And we can do the same thing. We can go. Whoops. So yeah, you you get what I'm saying. Uh, if we type this up by itself like this, print, and then we put the quotes. Hey. And then we press enter. It's going to work. E. Single quotes. End it. And then we can print that. And that way it'll get rid of the new line characters. So that is what's known as a multiple string quote. And that's beneficial because that is treated differently. Because then MySQL looks for, I'm sorry, Python looks for three quotes in a row. So if your string has three quotes in a row for some reason, well then it's not going to work. Otherwise it will. He said, wow, she's pretty. And then we close it with three single quotes. So we have opening three quotes. If I can even, if I can even get that, my mouse is freaking out. And then we have the, thro the closing three quotes. And within here, these double quotes are ignored as well as the single quotes are ignored. So that is how we can get around that problem. And obviously we have this backslash, which is, which is basically just because we're not printing it. If we use the print function, it should look fine. Now, uh, I also wanted to say before we go on that this triple quote thing is useful if we need to print stuff over multiple lines. For example, if we want to print, hey dude, and then we want to literally put a 
space below this and then print more, we press enter to go to the next line and we get an error. So if we need to print values over multiple lines, we can use three single quotes, press enter, and then we can close those when we want. And then it's going to print that, hey, with a single quote floating. All right, and the only other way to fix this problem is using what's known, we can, we can escape things, which that is what we will talk about in the next video. So hopefully this was helpful, and I will see you guys in the next one. Be sure to subscribe.